Hello everyone! This is Pikachu Fortis with a new Let's Play. Actually, my very first Let's Play. This is Assassin's Creed 3. And let's get started. When it finishes loading. And doing that. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so I have played this game before, just so you know. So if I get excited, then, which I obviously will, because this game is so awesome, then ignore that. <laughs> okay, um, wait, hold on. Alright, um, so apparently I've already used my username, so let's just go with, um, uh, I just realized that I should have been using the keyboard, like not the controls. <laughs> okay. Um. Please fit. Please fit. Yes, it fits. It used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up, or laughed them off, sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor when the spoils went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does, they've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Yes! <laughs> okay, so... If no one's gonna talk here, then, um... <laughs> Sorry, it's been like a long time since I played this game, so I don't know whether or not someone's gonna talk. <laughs> um, you know, I what I just realized while watching that whole thing. Since Altair's and Ezio's clothing is white, 
I don't know how they would keep that clean, cause like, they, they'd obviously get stains from jumping off buildings into haystacks and stuff, you, you know? We're here. Well, the graphics are good. Let's go. Okay, th this is so cool. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get used to the controls again. Okay. So, um, you press uh, the right control stick to change your pov. Um, uh, left control stick to lock. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's that's probably like not it. And wait, how do you, how do you run? I I forgot how to run. <sighs> okay, I guess we're walking then. <laughs> they ditched us. Oh, never mind. They're over here. Another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Okay, the guy who just spoke, he's like one of my favorite characters. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll explain why later, if they mention his name, like later. Okay, why do they all walk like that? But like the way we walk is just like this. What? Where'd you guys stop? Okay, I, th I think we're supposed to go. I like how Desmond doesn't have to carry any boxes. <laughs> I think we're here. <clears throat> oh no, my glow stick. I love that glow stick. Oh well. Oh, is that how you run? Okay, so, um, ZR to run. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is now our base. I think. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. I like how Assassin's Creed is so historic and makes so much sense. I, I just love it, really. <laughs>
son. Sir. Here we go again. You know what Desmond sounds like? He sounds like that guy from that movie. Desmond? Oh wait, I'm gonna shut up. Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. <laughs> yes, because walking is awesome. I'm not gonna run. She told me to walk. Well, okay, I guess we had to. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. So, here are the controls. Just a basic tutorial. <laughs> he just lagged. <laughs> like, right through the... Um, thing. The wall. Yeah. Running is so cool <laughs> until you fall. <laughs> That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Okay, yeah, ba back when I first played this game, I, s I couldn't figure out how to get down there for like 10 minutes, so <laughs> yeah. But like, now I know. <laughs> Oops. I'm just gonna do that. All you have to do here is jump the gap. This is dangerous. Like, do they re- Oops. Was that supposed to- Yeah, yeah, that- I think that was supposed to happen. Oh, what, what? Oh, okay, I was supposed to go up there. <laughs> I almost made him hit his head. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Woohoo! Ah, oh, this guy. I know this guy. Oh, we can't run. <coughs> sir. Sir. Everything alright, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring a round of one. I really want to bump into that other guy. But I can't. <laughs> Oh, 
guys, I'm so excited! Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? You shall! Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seat. Let's go get a seat. A seat. Gonna get a seat. To watch whatever is going on. Good evening, sir. This way. Why can't things be like this? Like, why can't all movie theaters look like this? Oh wait, expenses. Right, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Evening, Haytham. Hello. Oh. I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. I already have. If that guy over there that we just looked at is important as they say he is, then he should be getting better seats, because that doesn't look like a good, a good seat. A thousand pardons. <laughs> he just pushes him out. <laughs> I gotta try it that one time. <laughs> oh, oops. Okay. Tried <laughs> too cool for the ladder. <laughs> Secret spy mission. Ew, are they making out? Never mind. can't run anymore. <laughs> oh, I love picking locks! This is like one of my favorite things to do in Assassin's Creed, even though I sort of suck at it. Uh, see? It's just so much fun and creative! I wanna learn how to pick locks. Jump! Surely no one will notice. Oh, that was so close. Oh, wait, oops. Okay. Wow. How is no one noticing that I'm like standing right here? Okay, maybe someone is, but they're just not telling anyone. <laughs> Okay. Um, what now? Oh, okay. All this trouble when we could have been ushered to closer seats. To whoever this guy is. Hello! 
Here you go. You should have come to me. You would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. And am I. Okay, let's do this. Boom. <laughs> wow, it's just... Oh, oops. I think I wrecked this childhood. <laughs> See, I knew that was gonna happen. Come, Why casually? Oh, Hold up. Okay, never mind. Our clothing just looks a little different than the other, so I, I, it just might be a little obvious. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh wait, we're supposed to walk faster. Okay. Is there like a time limit? Sure hope not. Cause I really want to just stick around and do stuff. It happened right in that balcony. What are those men doing? I'm staying where it's safe. Boom! Boom! Oh wait, oops, sorry. <laughs> I was looking at something else. This is where I'm supposed to go, right? Oh yeah, this is where I'm supposed to go. I think I just took the long way. I'm pretty sure I just took the long way. Yeah, I took the long way. What a crowd! Should we just lag through that guy? Poor girl. I couldn't tell. So many people with ponytails. I don't even even like, bother to notice. Like all these people. Just staring at that little green thing, telling you where to go. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bribe. By your command. Man ponytails are just so cool. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, we'll want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. 
We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. So, like, he got the list. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor oh, to oops. us all. Talk over dialogue. Oops. <laughs> so, like, he got the list, but imagine he forgets what it's for. Uh, <laughs> but he won't. I'm pretty sure he won't. Okay, well, this seems like a pretty good time to end it. So, uh, uh how do we pause this? I think we have to like <sighs> Okay, well There we go. Okay. <laughs> so this has been Assassin's Creed 3 with Pikachu Fortis and I'll see you guys next play no Ugh Next time on Let's Play Assassin's Creed 3 See you next time. Bye. Peace.